Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm going to recap something that I kind of unintentionally talked about in class the other day. These things happen sometimes where you, one gets a little bit ahead of himself and we're going to now talk about what the possessive genitive is in Greek. So we've learned that the genitive form, let's, uh, let's take an example, tes, temes, of honor, could mean a lot of different things, can go with certain verbs. Uh, we, we've seen um, that the verb basileo, lo, lewo, can take a genitive object, you can rule the country, etc. Uh, but one of the most common uses of the genitive is to be possessive, so not just of honor, but actually say, well, this thing belongs to someone. Uh, so let's take one of our masculine, or sorry, feminine, uh, second declension nouns, hey, nasos. So second declension ending, the feminine tells us that it is, um, well, the feminine article tells us it's a feminine noun. So we're saying the island. Now let's think that um, we're uh, Gilligan's Island or something like this, where we have a, a rich doctor who goes out and buys his own private island. So we want to say the, the, the doctor's island, the island of the doctor. Well, there are two acceptable ways to do this in Attic Greek. Um, I think with Biblical Greek, you can uh, express things in a little bit different way, but we're going to be focusing on the use of the article uh, to make these possessive genitives happen. So we're, we want to say, let me uh, maybe scroll down, we want to say the doctor's island. So there are two ways to do this, mainly, in Greek. So we're going to say, first, the island, and then be a little bit more specific. The one that's of the doctor. So, and remember that doctor is ho yatros. So note here that the um, smooth breathing is over the iota. This is not a diphthong, it's not I, it's yatros. Um, I before a vowel in Greek can often kind of do a Y sound. So that's what we have here. Um, this is, of course, where we get um, psy psychiatry from. So psyche, word for soul. And then this is soul doctorship, <laughs> psychiatry. All right, so that's the nominative form. But then the, the genitive of yatros, it's a standard second declension noun, is u. Um, should have mentioned that the accents on the Ultima. So the island, the one of the doctor. Maybe it's Dr. Phil. I don't know who has enough money to really own a private island as a doctor, but maybe a very successful neurosurgeon. The island, the one of the doctor. This is a, an acceptable way that happens a, a decent amount, but as I mentioned in class the other day, this is slightly inefficient because we're doubling up this article. We're saying the island, the one of the doctor. Uh, perfectly acceptable and slightly preferred, um, wrong breathing mark, um, is to sandwich the possessor, the genitive, in the middle of this kind of what's becoming an article sandwich. Uh, so we have hey nasos, the island, and then we can say, well, it's the island of the doctor. The of the doctor island is what this means as we're reading left to right. Uh, and we can, you know, sub out anything we want. We could make it, um, you know, of the judge, <laughs> right? We could make it the island um, of the slave. That's particularly unlikely, but I guess, you know, uh, Robinson Crusoe had Friday, right? So something like that to do uh, and then just reduplicating here if we were you know use it wanted to say the island of the judge the island of the slave this is how we would do it oh error sorry yatros was the nominative so that would have made no sense uh yatru is what we want so he to yatru nesos the island of the doctor uh, so what got brought up in class the other day was this construction. Well, what if we just dropped off that second article, the one, say, we'll go back to our doctor example, the island of the doctor. Uh, this is fine. 
uh, and I have seen this before, uh, but this is not necessarily what we want to be doing to be learning proper Attic Greek. Um, as uh, Shalmerdine says, we're, we're going to have two acceptable constructions for the purposes of this book. This is what we're going to be working with, one and two, three, not so much. Hope that clarified some things, and I look forward to talking about this more later.